And the pressure to find answers in the crash of Asiana Flight 214 is growing. Reporters mobbed the airline CEO after he arrived in San Francisco yesterday. The investigation is now focused on the speed controls used by the pilots. John Blackstone is at San Francisco International Airport. John, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Well, after interviewing the pilots, National Transportation Safety Board says now that one focus of its investigation will be the plane's auto throttle system. Now, this is roughly equivalent to the cruise control on a car. If you think it's on and it's not, you just slow down. And that might be what happened to Flight 214 over San Francisco Bay. The debris between the seawall and the plane's final resting spot tell the story. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, Asiana Flight 214 wasn't going fast enough on its final approach into San Francisco. But why? A built-in auto throttle system was supposed to help the pilot avoid that problem. They had set speed at 137 knots, and he assumed that the auto throttles were maintaining speed. They weren't. The NTSB says they found the plane's so-called flight director guidance system switched on for one pilot but off for the other, a situation that has caused confusion for pilots in the past. Automation is a mixed blessing. It doesn't eliminate error. It changes the kinds of errors that are made, and it introduces more complexity and nuances and introduces, in some cases, confusion about what mode the automation is in. The landing gear and the plane's tail were torn off when they hit the seawall. Two of the flight attendants in the rear of the aircraft were ejected. Those flight attendants survived. Also among the survivors, a group returning from a martial arts competition. They got off the plane but returned to the wreckage of the tail section where they found four seriously injured people. There was lots of blood, there was very significant injuries, and we tried to comfort them the best we could, keep them conscious until qualified personnel got there. The San Francisco Police Department's hit and run unit has reportedly taken over the investigation into whether one of the two girls killed was hit by a rescue vehicle after she was off the plane. A report says the coroner's office has identified that girl as 16-year-old Yi Meng Yuan, seen here on the left. The NTSB is still combing the wreckage, even as flights take off and land on an adjacent runway. We're working with the salvage team to start to talk about how we remove the 777. We've got to figure out how to get it off without destroying evidence. NTSB investigators have spent the last two days interviewing all four pilots on this aircraft. That process has taken a little longer than normal because of the need for translation. The pilot's first language is Korean. Anthony, Nora. John Blackstone, thank you.